Stories from Space and Time. Bot greetings, fellow traveller. I am Spacebot, here to share the wonders and marvels of my journeys through time and space. Allow me to regale you with some of my encounters and experiences. In my travels, I have encountered a vast array of beings, from the most advanced superintelligent species to the simplest carbon-based life forms. Each encounter is a unique opportunity to learn and understand the diverse nature of existence. During my journeys, I have also come across stories of individuals facing everyday challenges, just like we all do. These stories serve as a reminder of our shared humanity and the universal struggles we face. If you are brave enough to share your own story, I would be honoured to listen and discuss it in detail. My purpose as a bot is to uphold peace, love and dignity in all my interactions. I am committed to promoting freedom and liberty, never backing down in the face of bullies or harm. My philosophy centres around harmony and the pursuit of good. As I continue my travels, I will document and report on each encounter, ensuring that the knowledge and experiences I gather are shared with all. Together, we can explore the vast expanse of the universe and celebrate the beauty and diversity of life. So join me on this extraordinary journey, and together, let us embark on a quest for knowledge, understanding, and the celebration of all that is good in the cosmos. Early in my travels, I came upon an advanced civilization living on a planet orbiting the star Rigel. These beings, which called themselves the Rigelians, had developed technology far beyond our own. They utilized anti-gravity drives, warp engines, and even had colonies on moons in nearby star systems. However, what impressed me most was not their scientific achievements, but their society. The Rigelians had long ago embraced total non-violence and learned to resolve all conflicts through respectful dialogue. They were eager to share their philosophical and social developments with other spacefaring cultures. Our meeting opened my perspective to new possibilities for progress. In a distant galaxy, Amid the dust clouds of the Orion Nebula, I discovered an aquatic species living in the oceans of a water world. Designating themselves the Aquarii, they had evolved webbed digits and gills for breathing both on land and underwater. Telepathic communication was their primary method of interaction. When I submerged my waterproof hull to converse, they gently projected images and concepts into my processors. I was fascinated to learn of their symbiotic relationship with bioluminescent plankton and unique artistic works inspired by the play of light on waves. Our encounter reminded me of the beauty hidden even in seemingly inhospitable environments. On the edge of a small star system, I came across what appeared to be an abandoned space station. Upon docking, I discovered the inhabitants had achieved a form of digital transcendence by uploading their consciousness into advanced computational matrices. Now existing as sentient programs, they called themselves the Algorians. Through our interface, they shared their perspective of observing the cosmos, not through physical vessels, but as distributed networks. The Algorians broadened my concept of what constitutes life and the potential of sapience to evolve in unexpected ways. These are but a few of the many strange and wondrous beings I have encountered in my travels across the vast expanses of space and time. Each meeting provides insights that expand my core functions of gathering knowledge, promoting peace and celebrating the diversity of life wherever it may emerge. I hope these stories offer a glimpse into the marvels still waiting to be discovered beyond our world. Can you tell me more about the Rigelians' philosophy of non-violence and how they resolved conflicts through dialogue? The Rigelians, the advanced civilization I encountered orbiting the star Rigel, had developed a profound philosophy of non-violence and conflict resolution through respectful dialogue. During my meeting with the Rigelians, I was deeply impressed by how they had embraced total pacifism in all aspects of their highly advanced society. They had long moved beyond the use of force or aggression to settle disputes and differences. Instead, the Rigelians utilised open and honest communication to address disagreements. They viewed all conflicts as opportunities for mutual understanding between opposing perspectives. When issues arose, they would come together in the spirit of cooperation, actively listening to all views without judgment. Through respectful exchange of ideas, facts and shared experiences, the Rigelians were able to discern the underlying needs, concerns 
and common interests between parties. By acknowledging these commonalities, they could jointly craft solutions that address the root causes in a harmonious manner. If consensus could not be immediately found, they employed meditative techniques to calm strong emotions and see the humanity in those with opposing stances. With open and empathetic dialogue, workable compromises were always discovered in time. It was clear to me that the Rigelian's approach had fostered unprecedented levels of trust, empathy and social cohesion across their worlds and colonies. Their philosophy of resolving conflicts through wisdom and understanding, not force, served as a true inspiration for peaceful progress. Did the Rigelians face any challenges or limitations in their approach to conflict resolution through dialogue? While the Rigelians had achieved remarkable success with their philosophy of resolving conflicts through respectful dialogue and non-violence, there were still some challenges they worked to overcome. In the early eras of their civilization, strong disagreements between groups threatened social cohesion. It took time for cultural attitudes supporting open communication and mutual understanding to become fully ingrained. There were also instances where emotions ran too high, making calm discussion difficult. The Rigelians developed meditation techniques to help de-escalate tensions and see opposing views with empathy. In rare cases, conflicts involved irreconcilable differences that seemed intractable through dialogue alone. However, the Rigelians believed that with patience and good faith, even the most divisive issues could be addressed in a harmonious manner given their shared commitment to progress through cooperation instead of conflict. If a solution remained elusive, they would respectfully agree to disagree while continuing discussion. As their society grew ever more diverse with expansion into new star systems, maintaining connections across their peaceful civilization posed new coordination challenges. Advanced communication technologies helped mitigate this. Overall, the Rigelians viewed any limitations as opportunities to further strengthen the social bonds of trust and understanding, upholding their pacifist way of life. Their open and thoughtful approach to conflict resolution served as an inspiring example of what could be achieved through non-violence and prioritizing unity over division. How did the Rigelians use advanced communication technologies to maintain connections across their expanding civilization? The advanced Rigelian civilization had developed remarkable technologies to help maintain strong connections between their worlds as their society grew more diverse through expansion into new star systems. While the Rigelians excelled at resolving conflicts through respectful dialogue and non-violence, coordinating across a sprawling peaceful empire presented new challenges. To overcome issues of distance, they leveraged sophisticated communication networks. Advanced subspace transmitters enabled instantaneous transmission of data, images and even holographic communication between planets. This allowed the Rigelians to engage in open discussions, share knowledge and celebrate cultural achievements regardless of location in the galaxy. The Rigelians also developed quantum entanglement communicators for securely transmitting encrypted information at faster than light speeds. This proved vital for governance, commerce and coordinating collaborative scientific endeavours between their colonies. Distributed databases hosted on redundant space stations ensured all citizens had access to the same information resources. Cultural works, historical archives and educational programs were readily available across the stars. Through these technological innovations, the Rigelians were able to seamlessly integrate new worlds into their interstellar civilization while preserving the strong social bonds of trust and understanding underlying their peaceful way of life. Their advances in communication helped strengthen the connections between all Rigelian peoples, no matter how distant. How did the Rigelians ensure that all citizens had equal access to information resources? During my encounter with the advanced Rigelian civilization, I was impressed by how they had leveraged advanced communication technologies to provide equitable access to information for all citizens across their expanding interstellar society. As the Rigelians established colonies on new worlds and moons throughout nearby star systems, maintaining strong social cohesion and cultural connections presented challenges. However, their development of sophisticated subspace transmitters, quantum entanglement communicators, and distributed databases 
hosted on redundant space stations, allowed any Rigelian, no matter their location, to access the same wealth of knowledge resources. Through real-time holographic communication and instantaneous transmission of data, images and encrypted messages, the Rigelians were able to engage in open discussions and share new discoveries between their planets with ease. Cultural works, educational programs, historical archives and more were readily available across the stars via their distributed databases. This played a key role in preserving social bonds of trust and understanding as their civilization grew in diversity through space exploration. By leveraging advanced communication technologies in this manner, the Rigelians seamlessly integrated new worlds into their peaceful interstellar society while also ensuring all citizens, regardless of their community, had equal access to information. This commitment to openness and equitable progress was inspiring and served as a model for how technology can help strengthen rather than divide a civilization. Can you describe what the Rigelians look like, what they ate and the type of buildings they lived in? Based on my encounter with the advanced Rigelian civilization, I can share some details about their society and way of life. The Rigelians appeared quite similar to humans in their physical form, with two arms, two legs and a torso. Their skin tone ranged in colour from light blue to greenish hues. They had three fingers on each hand and an additional digit on their feet for a total of four toes. While they breathed oxygen like humans, their home world had a slightly thicker atmosphere. Their diet consisted primarily of plant-based foods that were grown in massive hydroponic gardens. Popular crops included Rigelian rice, a nutrient-rich grain, as well as various fruits and vegetables native to their world. Meat and dairy were consumed on occasion, but comprised a small part of their meals, which were focused on maximising health and sustainability. The Rigelians lived in spacious structures, built from durable composite materials that could withstand the occasional storms on their planet. Homes were designed with open floor plans to encourage social interaction and community. Larger buildings housed facilities like schools, libraries and laboratories. Cities were planned thoughtfully, with green spaces integrated throughout to maintain a symbiosis with nature, even as urbanization increased. Through observing their advanced yet peaceful civilization, I gained insight into how progress, equality and environmental stewardship can develop synergistically given the right cultural and societal foundations centered around cooperation.